Hey there, what is up you guys? I am Jerry and welcome back to the channel, The Chicago Griller. This is the show where I share my favorite tips, tricks, and recipes for the Weber Q. And if you think that I can help you out, hit that like button and subscribe. A few years ago, I made a recipe for lamb meatballs on the Weber Q. And a few commenters mentioned that it really reminded them of lamb kofta and encouraged that I try making it for this channel. So today, I'm doing just that and making my version of lamb kofta on the Weber Q. Stick around and see how I do this. For today's recipe, we're going to use one pound of ground lamb. But let's set this aside for a second while we prepare additional components. So grab half of an onion and the box grater and grate that onion. Just take care when you get close to the end because you don't want to grate your fingers. That hurts. All right, well, once you've grated that onion, place that into a mixing bowl. We can now add that one pound of lamb. Next up comes a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs. Traditional lamb kofta will use chopped pine nuts, but panko breadcrumbs is a simple substitute. All right, now we're gonna add two to three cloves of minced garlic, depending on how garlicky you want your recipe. Here's cloves number two and three. And now we're gonna follow that up with our homemade Middle Eastern spice mix. Fortunately, these all should be pantry staples. We've got about a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon, one teaspoon of cardamom, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of rosemary, and about a half teaspoon of chili powder. Dump all of these spices into your lamb mixture. And as usual, we've got some kosher salt and some freshly ground black pepper. That's everything, so with your clean hands, mix to combine all the ingredients together evenly. Once completed, we're going to start skewering. So here I've got some ordinary wooden skewers that have been soaking in water for 30 minutes as that helps prevent them from burning too quickly on the grill. Now grab a small handful of your lamb mixture and just wrap around each skewer or set of skewers. Do your best to form and roll them into a uniform tube. Basically what you're trying to do is you're looking to avoid some thicker and thinner sections because otherwise your lamb skewers won't cook evenly on the grill. Continue this process until you've skewered all your lamb. And as you can see, today I was able to form six lamb skewers. One final step before we head on out to the grill, and that's we gotta hit all these skewers with some olive oil. Now, once again, with your clean hands, work that evenly onto all surfaces of your skewers. Be sure to roll and rotate your skewers as necessary. Once completed, you can now head on out to your grill. Today, I'll be demonstrating this cook on my Weber Q1200. It has been preheating for about 10 to 15 minutes, and I have adjusted the gas knob to between a medium and high heat. Now, I'll just go ahead and lay down each individual lamb skewer across the grill grates. And as usual, some very pleasing sounding sizzle as soon as the lamb hits that hot grill. And you know, this blend of Middle Eastern spices smells amazing already. Now, just give everything a light tap to make sure they're in good contact with the grates. I'll shut the lid and let these cook for about three minutes before I check in on them again. So here we are after three minutes. I'm going to open up the lid and give all these skewers a quick turn on the grill. And once again, as usual, terrific grill marks produced by this Weber Q. Now, as I turn all these skewers, I'm also going to rotate the position on the grill because my particular Weber Q1200 has a few hot and cool spots. The top third and the bottom third run cooler than the middle, so adjusting my skewers ensure that all of them cook evenly. You might get some flare-ups as you shuffle your skewers around, and that's from the grease and the fat dripping directly down on the burner tube. But usually you could find a spot on your grill where the flames settle. Shut the lid and continue cooking, rotating every three minutes. All right, skipping ahead a little bit, 
These skewers have now been on the grill for a total of nine minutes. I rotated them one more time off camera, but these should all be ready to come on off the grill. The smell of the cinnamon and spices is just so good. I think the whole neighborhood can probably smell this. As we pull them off the grill and let them rest off to the side, let's prepare a yogurt topping to go along with these lamb skewers. All right, so back inside, I'm gonna add a large dollop or two of Greek yogurt. There we go. And to that yogurt, I'm gonna add two cloves of minced garlic. Here's the second clove. Now a half teaspoon of cumin, and of course, some kosher salt, and some freshly ground pepper. Now I'll squeeze the juice of a single slice of lemon, and mix until combined. While you mix, you're also gonna to wanna to drizzle in about a tablespoon of olive oil to add a little bit of depth and smoothness. And that's it. Serve your lamb kofta skewers with this yogurt mix and some additional slices of lemon as a garnish. So how do you serve these? Well, there's a couple of options. You can serve them on naan or pita bread, or you could follow my dinner idea where I served it over couscous and some sauteed spinach. You really can't go wrong with either option. Anyways, I highly encourage you give this recipe a try and let me know how it turns out for you. If you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I cannot wait to see you all again next time. Bye!